Well, I have to say I'm a little nervous. Uh, today represents a big day. Uh, I'm going to be putting vinyl up on the wall here. Uh, I just kind of uh, just see how far it would fit, or how long it would go. Uh, move the fridge and the pantry out a little bit. And I'm a little nervous because, you know, what if I screwed up? What if I, I don't know, I need to take it off or something. So I think I'm going to attach it. Um, not like, I'm not going to cover the wall. I'm going to do uh, just the top here, the bottom, and then kind of around the outlet areas. And I'm just going to dab a couple other places. And then just kind of stretch it tight. At least that's my initial plan. I've got uh, some of this contact adhesive. I'm going to try and put it on with a brush. I tried putting this in a little smaller cup at first, but it melted through that. So do not put this stuff in a plastic red solo cup. Oh, so that's where that's my next steps here because probably see some furniture out there I want to get that in here but I don't want to put that in here until my walls are ready to have stuff pushed up against it and not move again so that's my plan I'll check in uh, I don't know in a little bit all right got one piece up it's uh, 54 inches wide and this wall is only 32 inches wide uh, tall so uh, I'm gonna go and cut it and it cuts real easy with a nice sharp uh, utility knife so cut that and uh, then I'll flip it up a little bit and and put more uh, more of this glue on the bottom side of it then it was so far pretty tricky I think it would be easier to cut a piece rather than leave it on the roll so we'll see I'm leaving that spot over there blank because I'm trying to get away with as little of this as I can because it's uh, eight to ten dollars a yard and I don't want to have or it doesn't need to be back behind the fridge or the pantry all right that section is in looks like I got a little wrinkle here Uh, got it cut around all my uh, outlets and stuff here. This is going to be covered up with a board. This little thing is going to go in here. It'll be good to go. So, yeah, that stuff sucks to work with, but oh, I don't know. Geez, this one little piece took like an hour. I'm going to do another piece right here and now I'm gonna block off this window some more to where to wherever my uh, um, wherever the pantry ends up coming here I am gonna lose access to opening up this window which kind of sucks because I'm not gonna be able to activate that release all right let's do this let's see where we're at Um, there we are. Ow, I just hit my head on the TV here. Oh. So, this is, uh, you know, we're starting to get somewhere. You can see the, the wall there. I have not put anything behind this one yet. Because... I really think yeah by the time I get the top rail the top rail on this and and add that piece of trim that's going there I got some oak basically it's an oak board is gonna span where the uh, the old aluminum emergency exit bar basically was to activate the windows so I'm just gonna make a nicer looking ones of those I might just do basically a little bit here over just to 
going to make this look good. And then everything else on back is going to be covered by cabinets or this couch, which is basically a cabinet. No, I know what you're saying. I know what you're thinking here. You're saying, Sean, look at all these. All of these things here look like butt. And to that, I would say, you are absolutely right. But remember, there's going to be drawers in there. You're never going to see that. Unless you pull the drawers all the way out. And that's probably going to be us. I just... It's 95 flipping degrees here today. I can't. Just can't even. So, got uh, two coats of polyurethane on the parts that are going to show. So, and then the, these, I think I'm going to round. So, this is just the basically the backer board that's going to be on the back of the, of the cushions. And I might dig into that tonight because it's actually cool now. Well, cool. It's in, I think it's 80. It's nine o'clock and it's 80 but I'm gonna round the corner on this so that if you were to, you know bump into that it's not gonna just be this uh, pointy thing here now the cushion will come out um, actually I was planning on I don't know what I was planning on it doing <laughs> uh, it's gonna come over it's gonna come over another inch here so what that does is that also gives a little bit of cushion for if you were to bump into that you're not going to just hit uh you know on your leg you're not going to you're not going to hit this wood right away you're going to hit cushion and then eventually if you keep pushing you're going to get that and i wanted to balance between support and uh me bumping into things because i always do glad that outlet is going to stay useful and I'm going to have to figure out uh, a table here for the dinette, but so you can, you know, two people can easily sit there, uh, two more there, two more there, uh, probably even adults. Yeah, I'm really liking how this is turning out. Interesting thing is this drawer is not going to be able to be pulled out very far at all. So that'll be a little tricky, but it'll, I'll make it the full depth and then, you know, just the last. 10, 10, 12 inches, you're going to have to reach under there if you're going to try and get it, get at anything. Uh, you may also notice down at the corner there, uh, you know, s some of the, the vinyls peeling up and stuff. I'm actually going to put a piece of trim, uh, again, stuff I'm going to make out of, just out of oak boards, uh, kind of like farmhouse style trim, nothing fancy. Just to go all the way along the bottom and I'm going to do the same over there just to kind of clean up the edges and, and whatnot fridge and pantry are back in oh I was thinking about something else oh yeah the ceiling I'm gonna because I want to cover that with that same vinyl too and my plan was to pull out each of the pieces and then uh, replace the screws with nails I'll probably have to do new holes, uh, but do nails and then basically pound it up with a rubber mallet or something so that the panels can always come down easily if I ever needed to versus just uh, gluing it all up, which I don't know, maybe I'll just end up doing that. This is my, this is what I've been looking like today. It's just ridiculous. I'm starting to look like a pirate, I think. Um, uh, you know, I noticed on our, uh, what's it called? The follower count, where is it up here? Is it up here? Down there? Down somewhere? On the page? Uh, the subscriber count is approaching 200, which maybe you're watching this in 2019 and, uh, maybe that's close to what it is now. Maybe that's... Uh, really small. I don't know and I don't I really don't care, but uh, I'm, I'm very flattered uh, that since I, I think this Early spring almost a hundred more people have subscribed and are caring about what uh, me and my family are doing on this project. So that's really cool uh, Definitely I'll always post in the comments uh, Stuff you want to see stuff. I'm not explaining very well I know I'm explaining some things horribly. I just, 
um, or not at all. I'm just glossing over it. I just, uh, sometimes it's, uh, it's a lot of work to edit it all down and I kind of do it in bursts. If you notice, I, I'm recording all the time and I figure oh, I'm going to edit it later. I'm going to edit it later, but I, I never do. So that's all I have for tonight. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more. I might try and put the cushions together tomorrow because I'd really like to, um, put this together and, uh, mm -hmm. Maybe Austin and I will take it out. It's just Austin and I here uh, this week, Memorial Weekend. Uh, the wife and took the girls up north, uh, I don't know, doing something with her mom. And, and the older boy. So it's just Austin and I. We watched uh, the Star Wars solo movie. Good. I liked it. I thought it was good. Uh, but yeah, anything, um, anything you want to see more of, anything you want to see less of, definitely put it in the comments. Because then I'll know. I'm not a mind reader. Just ask my wife.